Bande Guru Pada Dandam Bhakta Binda Samanitam Sri Chaitanya Prabhu Bande Nanda Sahoditam Sri Nanda Nanda Nang Bande Radhika Charna Dayam Gopi Jano Samayuktam Binda Bancha Kalpataru Shuki Pass in the Vivacha Patitanam Pavuni Bho Vishnu Bibhu Namo Nama Mukan Karoti Vacha Lang Pangung Lang Hetigidim Jatki Pata Mahangabandi Parma Nandamadam Brinda Vitu Siddhi Vipiava in case of us. Krishna Bhakti Pada Devi Sattva Bhattvai Namo Namaha Narayana Namaskitta Narancaiva Narottama Devi Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jayo Madhira Shankirtane Krishna Katho Vadesha Gauriya Patrasya Prakasa Necha Sadhanurakta Guru Bhakti Yukta Bhakti Pramodaksha Jagod Varuna Deyam Sada Paribhavagna Babishtu Duhum Deitas Padam Siva Virenjanatam Saranya Deitati Hum Purutopan Dhuvati Putam Bande Mahapurushati Charuna Ravindam Yat Pada Pallavana Kachanda Manichataya Bispuriji to Kimopigo Bodu Swadarshi, Urna Nuragara Sasagara Saramuti, Saradika Mikada Kimam Kirus, Si Krishna Chaitana Prabhunita Nanda, Si Adi Dagadharasiva Sadi, Gaura Bhakta Bin, Si Krishna Chaitana Prabhunita Nanda, Sri Adhita Vagaha Dharasiva Sadihi Pura Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Ajanulam vita bhujo kanaka budatu Sankirtana ikapitaro kamala yatakshu Visham baro dijabaro jubadhar mupalo Bande jagat priyakaro karuna bhataro Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Ram. Ajanulam vita bhujo kanaka vodato, Shankirtano ikavitaro kamula yataksho, Visham baro dijavaro yugadhar mapalo, Bande yagat priyakaro, Karuna Bhutaro Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Namam Gange Tavapad Pankajam Sura Surair Bandito di Barupam Uktin Jamuktin Chadaga Sinitam Bhavan Rupe Nasada Naranam Ganga Taranga Ramani Ajata Kalapam Gauri Nirantara Bibushi Tabam Narayano Priyamananda Madha Paharam 
Varanasi Purapati Bhajavi Shanatham Vagisa Jusho Badane Lakshmi Jasya Bhakshasi Jasya Stehide Sammi Vam Shingham Bhaji Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Sankirtamano Bhagavan Ananta Srutan Bhava Vasanam Hipunsam Pravisha chityam brudhipiduno tiyasesham yathatam arko brahmamiba tibataha shankirtamano bhagavan anantaha srutan bhava vyasanam hipansam pravisha chityam bidhano tiyasesham yathatam arko abhrumiba tibataha Gorya Gostipati Sisila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Raghav Bhopa Paramahansa Jagat Guru Paramahansa Jagat Guru told that Hari Kirtan that is the topmost dhyan in this Krita Yuga maybe just be doing a little dhyan there it is written about the dhyan but but about Hari Kirtan, they don't know about that much. They don't have that much information. Especially Sriman Mahaprabhu has just uh, given the glorification of Harinam in front of us. Before that, it was not that much. In Dwaparmuk, it was there. But uh, no one knows about that much about the glorification of Harinam. In Krita Yuga, it means in Satya Yuga. So, about Dhyan, what is it, it is talked about there? It is nothing. That's why Prabhupada is uh, speaking about this point. So that the uh, Jiva don't have that uh, uh, negative feeling inside his heart. Like in front of Haridas Thakur, Kopal Chakravarti is just... Uh, Thinking about glorification of Harinam is very lightly. Oh, the Pasha is a big thing in front of Harinam. Actually, he don't know. Still now also. In Satyug, you just uh, forget about that. I don't want to go up till that point. Today also, their glorification of Harinam is so much that no one knows. So much uh, glorification is there. Topmost glorification. And Bhaktino Thakur also speaking. That is, you you first realize the glorification of Harinam yourself and then after that you just become Pratishtit in Harinam and after that you just glorify Harinam slowly, steadily. And you can slowly, steadily just by hearing the glorification of Harinam that what uh, bad things there inside his heart and everyone, everything can get rectified slowly, steadily. Bhakti Thakur speaking that after that whatever preaching you are doing without realization, nothing will happen. <laughs> the person that uh, whatever uh, material lust and uh, desires are there inside his heart, Mahaprabhu actually speaking this point. Durbar Vindya means? Beyond our controlling power. It's not powerful that is so much sense organ so much powerful any time I can just uh, get out of and I can get into this uh, distress of material modes a one uh, sadhu pure Vaishnav who is a realized soul if he has done some wrong in his life and because of that he just need to uh, fi- f- 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 find the result of that consequence there is not one example lot of examples are there regarding this lot of examples are like this it is very distressful for that sadhu so 
सो इन कृत युग इन सत्य युग दे आर ध्यान अबाउट ध्यान इट इज मोर दे आर फोकस्ड अबाउट दैट दीज दे आर एक्चुअली मोर फोकस्ड अबाउट ध्यान बट नाउ बट दैट उदार्ज विग्रह दैट गौर विग्रह है बाय दैट ध्यान अदौर्ज वग्रह श्री गौर सुंदर जस्ट टू टेक दर्शन दैट टाइम इट वॉज नॉट देयर टू प्रभुपाद यूज टू स्पीक दिस You can understand this point, but Prabhupada actually is speaking that Madhvendra Puri Bad. After that, before that also, you can see Bilbo Mangal Thakur Prabhupada is speaking. They all inside their heart, maybe, they, maybe they are actually, they are actually before uh, Avir Baba Konang Mahaprabhu they came, but still Prabhupada speaking. That Bilva Mangal Thakur inside the heart of Bilva Mangal Thakur, this Gaur Vikrah, this Odarya Sar, that Sonar Gorang Golden complexion, Go Gorang Avatar, Molten Gold, Go Gorang Avatar is just get Avir Bhav inside his heart. Nay, so how it is possible that they can get this kind of prema inside their heart? Except Gorang Mahaprabhu, no father has this much capacity that he can give this prem sampati to everyone. Prabhupada speaking this inside their heart. Before that, very before their Avir Bhav of Gorang Mahaprabhu was there inside their heart. Maybe there. That's why there so much bhav, prem bhav is there inside their heart. It is not the capacity of anyone to give that. So Prabhupada speaking the in Krita Yuga and Sati Yuga. Maybe there is some focus mainly on dhyan, and they were just talking about dhyan only. But this Adarja Vigra, Shri Kaur Sundar, just to have darshan of that, there is no and no chance of that. That's why. in kalikal especially in this kalikal only that mahadhyan mahadhyan means hari kirtan that's why in this kalikal in this dhyan there can be some problem and there can be some dosh or fault coming in that some contamination can come in that dhyan what you are doing in the treta yug that's why that uh, yagya dharm was just established there the actual uh, instruction of the shastra to do yagya was established that's why in kalikal mahayagya that hari naam sankirtan this is the actual uh, vidhan and in this other uh, other uh, uh, yagya you when you are doing that uh, yagya don't have that much effect and that archan vidhi just came in uh, dwapar yog and when you are doing in dwapar and in kalikul that maha sankirtan is the top most archan maha archan that naam sankirtan is because when you will be doing archan they when you are just uh, giving some prasadam to some demigods or bhagwan then there is lot of contamination in that and this maha archan was there in dwapar yog Archan was the topmost, but in Kalikal, this uh, all you just need to leave that and that Maha Archan Shri Nam Sankirtan only by everything can be done by that. And uh, what kind of uh, methods you are just uh, using? Just when you that disease is not going, that is many treatments you are just doing. That when that disease is not at go, not going at all, then. then you are just becoming distressful and at the last time what you will be like at the time of some person is just at the time of death prabhupad or also speaking of bishpuri he is speaking that he is at the time of death on the bed only he is very sick and prabhupad speaking and of all the treatments when they have just got failed failure in their his life whatever treatments are done are all failure at the last time like there that person who is already there that patient is already going to die he is actually giving that poisonous poison to him that is lot of potency in that 
that's why in this kalikul in, in this kalikal so these jivas have so much uh, serious uh, dangerous condition they have swear condition that you can't even imagine that just by seeing this uh, topmost swear condition of this jiva in this kalikal naam sankirtan is the actual uh, thing which is given in this kalikal that is the topmost medicine powerful medicine to treat our disease vyas dev ji when narad ji uh, is taking the odesh of instructions of narad ji and just concentrated his material uh, concentrated his mind on uh, krishna then he has just taken uh, the darshan of krishna and uh, just behind that he has taken darshan of maya devi and after that also he is seeing the different kind of jivas and their disease he is seeing that there is not no no power is there no spiritual power is there he is just dying just by seeing that vyasdev ji is actually just seeing the serious and dangerous situation of the jivas and he become very upset by seeing that and definitely i will be discussing that with you so probably actually speaking that uh, naam sankirtan in this all the power bhagwan has already manifested inside that naam sankirtan and the whole power is actually get uh, imbibed in this naam sankirtan that krishna is the mahayakya maharchan everything is naam sankirtan so just to do hari naam sankirtan apart from that nothing is top most naam sankirtan is top most so nice so beautiful arrangement is there bhagwan has given to us that that's why it is written here krishna chaitanya mukhad girna hari krishna divarna ka majjan to jagat premini krishna chaitanya mukhad girna hari krishna divarna ka majjan to is actually the flood of naam sankirtan by naam sankirtan that flood flood has come and uh, pravodaran saraswati pad is with for the humble mood is speaking sikrishna chaitanya prakriti jo dino so dino evasa ye baaki hi sachmuch din this is uh, actually the in uh, mahaprabhu's kal also in the time of mahaprabhu he is the top most humble maha pijushara sasagare
because all those pure guru vaishnav of that is the own i am the only ashray of them i am the only shelter for all the, all of them for inside the heart of all those pure guru vaishnav sadhus they are my heart i am their heart also that chapter of bhagwan has told about this so bhagwan actually is speaking to uddhav ji maharaj that by the effect of maha naam sankirtan he is speaking and uh, sankirtan if we are just speaking who will do actually mahaprabhu actually has just uh, taken uh, avirbhav on this uh, earth by 500 years back now but if you want to hear sankirtan and want to take the advantage of sankirtan where to go you just need to go to pure guru vaishnav that's why prabhupad used to speak that uh, aprakrit jagat whatever that effect of aprakrit shabd bram that is about how that is hari naam sankirtan and hari katha it, it is just you have to hear by the medium of uh, guru vaishnav it is just getting manifested in this material world so this hari kaam hari kirtan and all those devotees bhakt bhakti bhagwan all these things and just by satsang whatever shraman kirtan etc about bhakti yoga the limbs of bhakti that is apart from that shuddha bhakti to get shuddha bhakti there is no other pathway to get that uttar pradesh that is the top most thing what i am speaking in english hari katha i am speaking this only because the swadu gurus vaishnav i am the heart of them and bhagwan actually in garga samhita also is speaking bhagwan also speaking in garga samhita jat that all those pure guru vaishnav they are my they are my pran they are my heart ashab means that mom their age ayu it is there in bangla ayu means age that is pran ayu means age this pran means this life this life dulikan dulikan 10 particle these are all plural uh, things used that is a standing thing such that is standing sanskrit parshasu parshasu hai na aham Aham, definitely I'll be talking about this in future. So whatever is there, here actually Bhagwan speaking that you see all those pure Guru Vishnu sadhus, they are they are my life, they are my heart. that's why or uh, every time bhagwan is speaking why because what is the actual aadhar what is the this hari naam actually this all those sadhu guru vaishnav by the glorification of hari naam bhagwan sadhu they are on all same platform bhagwan actually is 500 years back before he came but after that what uh, who has just preached that just by the pure guru vishnu of that bani is preached that chapter the shlokas are already being given in the shastra hari katha hari katha inside hari katha inside hari katha like if we will be just uh, thinking about about that that uh, there is before glorif- glorifying hari naam maybe all those pure guru vishnu's names will definitely come if you will glorify because the swarup lakshana of sadhu guru vishnu tat we should always discuss about that bhakti ka vishay that in the in the matter of bhakti that bhakti what you are doing like gyan that gyan gyata who is getting the knowledge that is uh, the person who is getting the knowledge 
इट इज ऑल दट ऑल दीज थ्री थिंग्स विल गेट सिद्धि एट वन टाइम इफ वन सिद्धि definitely the second siddhi will definitely come because all the three siddhis are in one platform gyan siddhi you are getting so which gyan siddhi you have got maybe some some siddhi will be there because the knowledge is not in the sky if you getting that gyan siddhi so there must be some medium so for that medium is that person body jiva so gyan siddhi means for whom that gyata gyata means who is the person who is getting that siddhi and how which gyan siddhi he is gone about which object he is on which object he is getting siddhi so that gyan gyata gehu may be externally it is seeing that it is different but they are actually uh, interrelated to each other this is all one there is oneness with each other that's why where there is devotee there is there definitely sankirtan will be there and if the devotees are there sankirtan is not there how it is possible it is not at all possible shatan prasangyat mam vir jo sanvid bhavant hitkar narasayana katha tat yushana asu apavargani shatya bhakti rati ranukramishat atha bhakto hai it means those who devotees are there bhakt devotees bhagwan and bhakti they are on on the same platform they are all connected interconnected to each other where there is devotee there hari naam definitely will be there because devotees are all the time hari katha hari kirtan they cannot stay without that that's why brahma ji speaking that uh, i will definitely be doing association of pure guru vaishnav and i will be just uh, uh, hearing hari katha kirtan from their lotus mouth and i will uh, and i will be uh, by body speech and mind with full charnagati taking shelter of hari naam sankirtan i will just be serving uh, lotus feet of krishna and sadhu guru vishnu that's why we are though there are devotees there is kirtan definitely and where is there is bhakti there is bhagwan definitely will be there bhagwan actually speaking on his own himself speaking bhagwan that to narad ji maharaj gyane prayas madavasya namanti eva jivanti sanmukhritam bhavati yavartam sane sthita sati gatam tanuvan manovir ye prayas ajitopi jitopi osis toi sri lokya Here also also Brahma Ji is speaking about one point only that that if we we want to to stay stay Krishna that we just need to stay in the association of pure Guru Vaishnava because all the time they are doing Naam Sankirtan and Hari Katha and this knowledge this ज्ञान वॉट एवर थिंकिंग इज देयर अबाउट ज्ञान आई एल जस्ट थ्रोइंग इट फार अवे विथ फुल हम्बल मूड आई विल बी ऑल फॉल्स ई गो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू किक दैट एंड थ्रो दैट how we will uh, lead our life by bhakti how actually i'll by your the lotus mouth of guru pure guru vishnu will be hearing hari katha i will stay like that how we can stay just by uh, hearing uh, hari katha from the lotus mouth of pure guru vishnu vishwana chakravarti pad has already given this commentary the sthane sthitaha that's all those pure guru vishnu in in between when you are staying in between sadhu guru vishnu and if you will be staying far away from sadhu guru vishnu then there can be a problem it's very difficult and if you are not physically uh, there with sadhu guru vishnu but mentally you have to stay but mentally to stay with sadhu is very difficult that's why it is more practical to stay with the pure guru vishnu all the time and with full anand you just need to do sankirtan and that flood of uh, anand will come definitely and those who are do, those pure guru vishnu are doing their naam sankirtan hari katha their bhagwan is there definitely in the uh, uh, and where their devotees my devotees are actually doing sankirtan i am there so what do you mean by hari katha hari katha means that bhagwan naam roop gun leela characteristics everything is there inside that this is actually is non different from hari especially this is uh, non different definitely that is that is the gradually the name of bhagwan roop the gun leela katha 
the parshad etc everyone uh, will definitely come with that all together that is not different from hari especially that name and the bhagwan himself especially the name and bhagwan is permanent nitya that is all the same there is no difference between them so shri nami and naam are not different from each other and externally we can see it seems that it is different externally it seems it is different so in this way that infinity creation cosmic creation manifestation that by this naam swarup in this yug everything everything is there all together in one yug only i have already told yesterday about om shabd abrakri shabd brahm anadinidanam brahmo sapta tattam jadaksharam nivartate artho bhavina apakriya jagatu yatho isme ek in this shlok we can just prove this thing that infinity cosmic manifestation etc it is all done by hari naam all by nami and naam it is done by that anadinidanam brahmo anadikasi from infinity time that that prabhu and bhagwan that bhagwan in the form of naam that in complete form of hari naam we can get that shabd tattva is there bhagwan and shabd tattva is one and the same like if someone is speaking this shlok if someone speaking it is what is the actual fault in that that is athat of shabd because brahm is in the form of shabd in the form of word a prakrit word so what is the fault in that in brahm samhita also it is written and in vedanta also it is there everything is one and the same by in bhagavatam also it is coming because in the form of shabd bhagwan is coming so that is actually true about this so by different different names we can just uh, uh, call bhagwan but this hari naam and naam and nami are not different from each other that is one and the same there is no difference and simultaneously or infinity cosmic manifestation is everything done by that uh, name hari naam only which is not different from nami that is why in kathopanishad it is written same platform only it can't be possible that if one thing is there other can't be there like i before i have already told about this point that shramanam kirtanam smaranam shavanam kirtanam vishnusparanam pad sevanam bandhanam archanam bandhanam shaksham atma everything it is there but still shravan kirtan and smaran especially they are interrelated to each other this vishay why because if we are just thinking about this point 
it is a very correct thing which is written here. And this actually, Bhakti Nath Thakur is uh, speaking in Kirtan. In Bengali, it is written that the Shravan, those those kirtan which are already being heard and remembered, and everyone used to go towards that, run towards that. Just by wind, you can see, and all the and the sun is just uh, destroying the darkness. Inside our heart, when Bhagwan is coming inside our heart, that we he can just manifest our actual swarup inside our heart and can destroy all the kind of uh, uh, useless things from our heart. Okay, so Darpan Madhuran is there definitely. Our uh, Chitrup that mirror, it will just be rectified and be uh, like Darpan, it will be rectified and all dust particles will go away, definitely it will get cleaned up. Nobody actually just having this focus on this point. Everyone is actually just uh, uh, in distressful condition of this material world and they are not at all focusing uh, their mind, material mind onto the lotus feet of Bhagwan. It is next to impossible to get that. But still there is no other way to get out. If you will not do then definitely you will die. All our material mind actually is going running higher and higher way on mati different material things it is going. Because that our heart only is actually just uh, uh, the actual uh, cause of our bondage and um, bondage and getting out of that bondage. Only mind is the thing. And there are a lot of slokas in Bhagavad Gita Mahapurana also. Whatever procedure of bhajan is there, first of all, that is the first thing, is the first step. Why? Because when your anarth is there, your bhajan is not at all permanent. That's why it is written in the Shastras. In Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran it is written that whatever you are doing, that bhajana kriya, but be sure, whatever you are doing, but your just be sure about this. If you will just uh, forget about this, then definitely you will die. Nothing will happen. So it's like this only. When our heart is nirmal, very soft, then only prem can come inside our heart for Krishna. And in Namastakam, in Namastakam, Srila Rupa Goswami Pad actually has written very beautifully. What? In Namastakam, he has written. What is written? Naraji. Naraji. Narado Vino Jivino Sudharmi Niraja Samaduri Pura. Yadana Bhaktivinoda. You can always remember the Kirtana Bhakti no Thakur. So nice Kirtan Bhakti Nota written, but nobody wants to do this. Everyone is actually getting in, entangled in this material world. So nice Kirtan, you see, so beautiful. Only one Krishna Naam. Hey Krishna Naam. You are actually just coming into the Vino of Naraji. You are just coming in that, in that form. 
इट इज जस्ट लाइक स्वयं भगवान इज जस्ट गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड इन दीना ऑफ नारा जी इट आई कांट स्पीक दैट इट लुक्स लाइक इट इज जस्ट एन एजम्पन दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड टू स्पीक हे कृष्ण नाम यू आर इन द नारा जी महाराज बीना यू आर ऑल द टाइम संजीवित मीन्स यू आर already manifested there that is an indication of the manifestation of bhagwan there himself in the veena of naraji he krishna naam you have just uh, getting into the veena of whatever the sound incarnation you are coming in the form of that veena and that flow of uh, nectarian flow that a uh, nectarian flow in the form of that in that current of flow i can just see you this kind of nectarian flow of current this is an outcome hey krishna hey krishna naam who are just coming out of from the narad muni's veena and in the form sound incarnation you are just getting manifested themselves in the veena and that in after that a nectarian flow of that madhurya sound is just coming out and you are the actual sarvastu conclusive object and you are actually on my tongue all the time with full anurag with sufficiently or more than more than sufficient you just go on to going but you don't want to leave me what is the inner meaning that you hey thakur ji you don't need to leave my tongue all the time krishna naam should go on to my tongue this is my only uh, petition on your lotus feet that you just to stay on my tongue don't leave me at all for a fraction of second you should be there on my tongue all the time with full anurag you just need to sit on my tongue because you i have already spoken this thing kaman mein yathesht yathesht is more than sufficient come on that according to our own desire you with lot of uh, krishna naam should be there on our tongue you just get manifest oh do keep on me and that uh, whatever rasana that taste is there on my tongue that with full rasa you should get manifest it's not like uh, normally you come with full rasa you should come so in this way the glorification of hari naam he has just manifested bhakti no thakur in a very beautiful vichar he is presenting in front of us and after that we can see that
all those muni gun all the time muni means all those sadhus those all the time who are silent muni means those who are all the time just speaking kirtan of hari uh, bhagwan they are actually doing glorifying hari nam all the time that is mon muni they are they are not at all doing material talking don't have time for that they don't have ruchi so muni means like you are in gayatri mantra you are coming in that it is written in there in the surya means surya is bahuvachan surya means suri vrind that is all the time ever present ever present those who are actually very dear to bhagwan that in past present and future in that background maya is nothing those who are actually throw maya like this they are actually suri can you understand the point now suri means that is like demigods uh, in the heaven he don't have this kind of information about this he is demigod so he is demigod but what to do in that they definitely has to come they need to put, uh, do dandavat on to bhakti mun thakur and prabhupad demigods and all what are who are they they definitely have to come to the lotus feet of bhakti mun thakur and pay dandavat on to bhakti mun thakur lotus feet they have to come to bhakti mun thakur so whosoever actually is there for in every any condition they are we don't uh, have any uh, purpose for that but uh, they definitely has to take their nose onto the lotus feet of a namacharya because apart from that namacharya haridas thakur is there definitely we just need to do the anugatya of prabhupad bhakti nu thakur is namacharya prabhupad is namacharya so those who are acharya of nam we just need to rub our nose onto their lotus feet haridas thakur is also namacharya but they are also namacharya because namacharya apart from them nobody is acharya you we haven't actually paid focused attention on this we haven't paid attentive attention on this point that i have already told from very different angles i have just posted this in front of you but still you are not at all attentive you just need to be attentive about this point i have lot of from different angles i am just discussing this point but you are actually not attentive to here if some acharya is there Uh, especially goriyam at i'm speaking i am not at all uh, not speaking about other acharya other sampradaya acharya because if i'll speak then there will be a fighting so why i should speak so especially those goriya preachers are there goriya prachara all those goriya preachers goriya preachers means then definitely he is a nam acharya definitely is a nam acharya if definitely he will be nam acharya who is preaching goriya philosophy nam acharya means he has already realized the nam then how he can work as an acharya it is not possible at all it is impossible to do that without realizing hari nam how he can just become nam acharya he is definitely nam acharya definitely he is nam acharya why because without uh, nam nobody can be acharya I have already seen this thing from in different different sampradaya. I have went there by the trip of uh, Bhagwan. I have seen in Navandhi sampradaya also. I have seen in uh, Ramayani Baba sampradaya also. Lot of sampradaya are there. I have already seen from time to time. But those people, those jivas, those actually following Ramanuja Charya, that full bhav they haven't have that. But I mean meant to say that Ramanuja Charya, those who are actually following the pathway of the vichar of Ramanuja Charya, in that pathway, that Siddhant vichar which is coming, that Ramanandi uh, Maharaj actually they are uh, just diverted that vichar. they have just uh, diverted their vichar from ramanujare to so, namanujare vishnu swami whosoever is there whosoever sampradaya is there surely they are namachare they have the glorification already realized the glorification of hari nam definitely they have realized that 100% that's why they are namachare but the ramanandi sampradaya when they are actually they have, they are not putting that much emphasis on hari nam that uh, topmost uh, vichar it they are, don't have that much which uh, topmost vichar 
they have that which are that how you can give lot of prasadam to sadhu guru vishnu but in the name of sadhu guru vishnu everyone is coming to eat lot of prasadam because you will not be getting thousands of vishnus so in their bhajan also you are actually not dis- i don't want to discuss this i just want to realize that i have already realized this point that this is not a point of fighting i am just having uh, 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 they are actually doing lot of seva okay let them do but i just want to speak that uh, your vichar is that just to do seva of sadhu guru vishnu but in the name of sadhu guru vishnu all the mad people or foolish people are coming and just to give uh, f- um, uh, prasadam to foolish people that is not uh, uh, the vishay of bhakti so this kind of vichar actually it is uh, good or not i don't know that but still shri larup goswami pad actually speaking about the first shlok it is coming in that first shlok only come under that category of first shlok so this just need to be whatever they are doing okay they can do lot of uh, uh, lot of prasadam they are getting those people who are very not at all getting support at all they are getting prasadam but the thing is there had is that those uh, in those other sampraday whatever vichar is there in that naam bhajan uh, is top most there is not more top most pressure on that okay naam bhajan is there okay especially those acharya also they are all the time doing naam bhajan that's why they are naam acharya that's why their acharya ship that uh, acharya ship will not stay at all forcefully they have taken it that there is no use and inside their heart their glorification of hari naam is so much that internal discussion of hari naam that is not there that much and in satyug also in treta yug in dwapar yug also that glorification of hari naam was there infinity that time also was there but especially this mahaprabhu has just manifested in front of us in open view that he has told us the open vichar that you see so topmost vichar mahaprabhu has told so that is the topmost thing in our sampradaya according to our body sampradaya whatever so much vichar is there on naam on the glorification of hari naam and under their anugatya we just other sampradaya in the other sampradaya it is not at all there like this kind of vichar which we have in our body sampradaya so what to speak of that they don't have that much so whatever is there the glorification of hari naam if by the kripa of mahaprabhu it is getting manifested inside our heart then why we we are not doing hari naam why we are not doing hari naam we definitely have to do hari naam no so if it has come inside our heart then definitely we have to do but still we are not doing so a lot of problem is there so this which are actually i have already told you that mulikan कीर्तन भक्ति में ठाकुर एज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न ऑल भक्ति में ठाकुर एज शोनस ऑलरेडी एज शोनस नो एंड स्पेशली अबाउट श्री गोरंग महाप्रभु विद फुल चेस्ट अप in the whole world they can speak that this kind of glorification of hari naam no one has just uh, interpreted and has not shown like that what mahaprabhu has shown maybe there it is there in the shastra but uh, with this in depth discussion nobody is actually speaking about mahaprabhu that's why it is written about mahaprabhu in chetanya chetamrita it is written kashu naam nam महामाधुरी 
महाप्रभु हु हैज एक्चुअली टोल्ड अस द ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ हरि नाम इट्स इन आवर इयर्स इट वाज ऑटोमेटिकली मैनिफेस्टेड इन आवर इयर्स नो एंड द देयर इज एक्चुअली इंफिनिटी ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ हरि नाम हु मस्ट हैव नोन दैट दिस टॉप मोस्ट आनंद में वृंदावन इज देयर दैट वृंदावन धाम इज देयर प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस हु हैज टोल्ड दैट वेयर देयर इज महामाधुरी टॉप मोस्ट स्वीटनेस इज देयर that maha maha top most maduri that sweetness who has just given us who has given us it was there before also but everything was there but who has actually manifested that in front of us only mahaprabhu has just manifested who knows about the radha rani who is radha rani who knows about that who knows that krishna actually just want to take the dust particle of the lotus feet of radha rani that is bhagwan is niskinchan For what work he is in Kinchan? He just want to just take the lotus feet of Hari Nam. Uh, that uh, Radha Rani. That is the topmost sampati for the Krishna. Who told? Mahaprabhu has told that. Those. That is the extreme point of this Madhurya Ras. Extreme point. If you are speaking, that is from infinity time. It is actually increasing. Extreme point. There is no point. That is not limited. That is unlimited infinity. If you are just speaking uh, that uh, extreme point, but still it is. Just need to understand that is not extreme. Still, Bhagwan is just coming the form of us in front of us as a child. It is already written there. They are actually not out of that. They are not inside, not outside. There is infinity that is called Bhagwan. There is infinity glorification about that. From here it is starting and it is getting an end. It is just Mayer Bhagwan. How? What is the height of Bhagwan? It is not at all possible. Who has actually seen about the glorification of the lotus feet of Hari Nam? So actually, everything is just uh, discovered by Mahaprabhu in front of us. It was already there before also, but is not get manifested in front of us. There is innovation means with newly discovered thing uh, they have put in front of us. It means that discovery means already it was there before. It was just now manifested in front of us again. So the thing is that it has all those money guns all the time. They are all the time doing nam kirtan. it's this nam it is coming in the form of nam roop in front of us and is just protecting us all the time without thinking if we will be doing hari nam like hela purvak or hela purvak or by own indication and by your own self by your own efforts this kind of four kind of nam abhas what i'm speaking by having this kind of four na- kind of namavat also i have already told you before also that maybe some uh, sant mahatma our bhakti mein thakur ban vichar is there about these all are namavas and uh, some nams uh, sant mahatma sadhus are speaking that uh, just to leave sankirtan just when you are uh, speaking sanket I have already told that uh, some sadhu has already spoken this point as well, and Bhakti Mohan Thakur also is speaking one point. That sanket, this kind of nama bhas, by sanket uh, they are speaking that it is nama bhas. That they have this kind of uh, indication that it is actually all uh, indicating Krishna only. But by parikhas they are speaking Krishna. But they are speaking that is not Nama Bhas. They are speaking Shuddha Nam. 
so this uh, they have this kind of uh, uh, uncertainty about this which are so whatever is there okay no worries but still whatever is the case it is uh, there written it's already written there that is more than sufficient that is more than sufficient for me and it is written there that if someone by naam abhas is just doing a uh, charan of hari naam but still after that he can just get out of the dangerous sinful situation sinful uh, material uh, material world is actually burning in fire it will give all the way all the all the direction it will just uh, uh, be giving top most peacefulness and will all the kind of sinful activities are getting destroyed and our heart will become in a very peaceful mood that top most fire which was there inside our heart is just like burning our heart all the time this will definitely destroy all kind of jealousy from our heart and oh shri naam deva you all the time with full jayukt bhav you can destroy that and in chaitanya charitamrita it is written mahaprabhu actually speaking in chaitanya charitamrita mahaprabhu what he speaking hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari prabhu ka ek vahi ram ek maha mantra yaha japo kiya sabhi kuriya nirvan yaha hi ke sarva siddhi hui ve samar sarvakan bolai the vidhi nahi Mahaprabhu is already speaking his point, and this kind of uh, things what Mahaprabhu has told us, they, they are actually lot of problems about this material uh, world is coming. Like all those Sahajya people, they are understanding. They are they are speaking that Mah Mahaprabhu is speaking just 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 to speak the chap of uh, Hari Nam, not to do Sankirtan. they are all sahajya after that when our gaudiya mat is just getting divided the sahajya group always used to speak that loudly to do harina we strictly prohibited they are not at all just hearing a uh, following crowd path so that is very much uh, strange to hear about these things shila bhakti sidan saraswati ko swami thakur bhav but definitely we need to understand this point but definitely we have to understand that point also haridas thakur has also shown us Uh, in front of mahaprabhu he is actually loudly crying with the, uh, in front of us one lakh name we used to do very nicely with very soft mood and with one lakh another one lakh harina we used to do with the total uh, full uh, uh, loud mood but these sahajya people they have already crossed haridas thakur also they are actually just uh, making some prohibition and restriction i have this kind of uh, i have got the association of very old and very experienced vaishnav that's why i am getting this kind of information they have just told this point that uh, they have already left their body but they have actually tell of, tell me the secret they have already told me the secret about um, they were actually also not used to do harina with full loudly they are speaking preaching that like sahajya they are preaching that you just need don't need to do harina loudly very strange to hear these things so you see this thing that mahaprabhu hasn't uh, told that mahaprabhu hasn't done uh, uh, done hari naam loudly hare what kind of thing is this mahaprabhu in jharikhand when he is going to jharikhand at the time of going to jharikhand and in south india all the time with full loud voice he is doing hari naam and they are speaking that he hasn't done so this japo gaya air actually it is written they are speaking that it is read just by doing japa harina mol not kirtan we have to do who has told us in the shastra i will just show you how much examples you need it's already written there so in this actually they are creating problem 
and after that they are actually not they are actually they are bound to uh, take switch are of propath after that but after that they just got defeated and definitely they actually just uh, the have come into this conclusion that okay they are doing kirtan loudly okay we have to do that like that so that is the actual secret he is actually a very old guy that 80 to 85 years maybe he has just left his body now but he is very old guy at that time all those actually is just uh, speaking in like bhakti gyan bharti goras from also tirth ko swami maharaj also from their lotus model they are very much old they have just taken from lenan das baba i have heard madhav goswami maharaj everyone has uh, gone everyone has gone from uh, damodar maharaj as in everyone has just now left his body so we have i have this kind of uh, proof i just want to speak this point that if some person is taking uh, is doing a prayer to lotus feet of prabhu so i will be having any kind of relationship with him no not at all if actually someone wants to do the aparad at the lotus feet of the prabhu and he don't have that kind of uh, faith on to the instructions of the prabhu that whether i will be doing his association i have this open question in front of you and uh, who are actually against kodiya mat they are actually just uh, busy in just publishing uh, hari kat uh, and books why you have just helped him uh, the the, the actually you are just uh, publishing all kind of books against gorya mat so it means that you don't have uh, no uh, connection with prabhupad maybe actually you have just uh, uh, you are just thinking that your mat mandir will all go away so with actual heart you are not no have no have no relationship with prabhupad at all if you have that relationship that why you have done like this all these books you have written with which are just like a trap for whole material world where there actually it is proved there that hari naam just no speak with full lightly uh, loud voice it is not it is prohibited so your society has just given lot of money for this and just uh, publishing it there so that you are also responsible for this kind of mis preaching why you have just uh, um publish this kind of books so if you will just be hearing prabhupad vichar so prabhupad actually speaking that for infinity lifetime you will go away when you will be falling that uh, against uh, uh, dhara so prabhupad actually speaking this on his own so prabhupad speaking that nobody no father has this capacity no i will not take the vichar of any father because the vichar of prabhupad is the absolute vichar apart from that there is no other vichar slightest deviation from the track of guru padmo can throw you away from vichar you just be open your ears and hear this prabhupad already speaking this point there is slightest deviation means slowly if even slightest deviation is there from your guru charan then definitely we will be going to hell we will not go anywhere else so that's why this is actually slightest deviation only and what is your deviation how much it is you don't know all kind of uh, wrong uh, books everything they have published it and how now how i can speak that you are in line with propas no definitely i will not uh, uh, hear that in for infinity time i will not be doing their association at all if they can just uh, hear about the actual vichar of prabhupad then if they will become uh, angry with that then everything will go in water nothing will happen at all if they have just uh, agreeing on this point that okay you are speaking right then here actually it is written he actually mahaprabhu is speaking that to do chap of naam that there is actually vidhan of doing chap of hari naam as well and by forcefully there is also written of forcefully with loud voice you just need to do hari kirtan it is also written there with full loud voice when you will be doing naam sankirtan that is the tarang that shabd tarang is going in all the four directions and before that in stavar jangam also all just get uh, 
delivered by naam prabhu that is hari naam is the acharya of the naam acharya who that whosoever is the acharya that is the acharya of acharya hari naam so like this Mahaprabhu actually speaking this point. So apart from leaving this point, some vichar must be there. Some vichar definitely must be there that you just need to do like this. Only by our our uh, chit, by our heart, when we are just uh, doing jap, then only jap is possible. And those who are all those who are doing jap. Uh, that those inside their heart by that uh, prayojan they are just getting that siddhi topmost siddhi but slowly and steadily in sankirtan they are just getting manifested themselves in sankirtan prabhupad bhakti mat thakur has just told us very deeply about this point if you are just doing kirtan all the time inside your heart slowly steadily that inside your heart that prayojan siddhi you will get definitely and if you are doing upanchu jap and with that you are doing sadhana like that then definitely so this hari naam actually the top most uh, uh, fruitful kirtan which we are doing and those who are doing kirtan definitely who is hearing that kirtan and those who are doing kirtan definitely he is doing the mangal of himself but at the same time he is hearing his own kirtan as well and those who are just hearing his kirtan definitely they are also getting the top most mangal and some kirtan word what does it mean just by doing kirtan by them there is uh, no kind of other sadhan is there apart from that some kirtan some kirtan means the shabd it is written there already samya kirtan i will just give you a proof regarding this also you just uh, make your vichar according to that when he, they have spoken about this as sankirtan what do you mean by that sankirtan means do by sankirtan who has got this complete satisfaction of bhagwan there is a procedure about that and by sankirtan only how what we can understand that all kind of pure guru vishnu they are just all together uh, just uh, with one purpose and one target in their mind that bhagwan without any anya bilash with full prema they are just doing all together that naam sankirtan so all these two uh, so sankirtan is called the complete bhajan by this words naam sankirtan everything that complete kirtan if we will be speaking there is no other sadhana apart from that we don't need that it doesn't mean that from yesterday tomorrow we will be just doing education it is written there that for pure guru vishnu it is written for them we will not be stopping our whole seva definitely we have to do all the seva but still at that time deep ko swami pad is already speaking about this point you just be careful about this point one point when naam sankirtan is perfect sankirtan means perfect we don't need to uh, speak anything else so when naam sankirtan is perfect like you are speaking fact fact means that is actually true and uh, you don't need to speak that is a true story this fact means it's real automatically so in the same way naam sankirtan when you are speaking that there is complete satisfaction of uh, is there it means that नाम संकीर्तन के द्वारा नाम संकीर्तन ओनली गेट द टॉप मोस्ट बेनिफिट एंड इज एंड दैट इज व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड द टॉप मोस्ट भजन अंग इट इज एवरीथिंग इज डन बाय दिस ओनली दैट प्रोपर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट बाय नाम संकीर्तन वी हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड इन द बिगिनिंग दैट इन सतयुग दैट ध्यान इज ऑलरेडी डन बाय नाम संकीर्तन and your uh, the what you get by treta yog that yagya is also getting the fruit of that in naam sankirtan and the archan of vapar yog is also done in that so how it is possible how actually you will be putting the question i have already told you the vichar so like this it is lekin jeevo 
but Jeev Goswami Pad has just told us in front of us that it doesn't mean that that all those foolish and fraudsters they are in the name of Nam Sankirtan. They are they are speaking that Bhagwan. I, I actually we don't need actually bhajan. I will be just doing my own bhajan. So Bhakti Mo Thakur speaking that in bhajan kuti Bhakti Mo Thakur has written this that. Continuously, Nam Sankirtan you have to do regularly and with full uh, seva, with your sense organs you just need to serve Bhagwan. But that tongue, on the tongue, your Harinam should go on continuously, they, that should not stop. What usefulness will get in that? But for usefulness is that maybe today or tomorrow, definitely that Sakshat, Bhagwan, Shuddha, Harinam will just get manifested on your tongue. It is already written in Bengali. Okay, so Bhakti Matakur has already told this one. There is actually no uh, reason and no doubt about it. So, Jeev Goswami Pad has told in Sandarbha, especially in Bhakti, Bhakti Sandarbha, it is already written there, clear cut. What, what it is written? They have written that maybe there are 64 different kind of limb of bhakti are there. In Rasamri Sindhu also it is there. But still it is written there. In this Kadikal, if each and every person is speaking and he is just sitting with Nam Sankirtan only and they have no other work and they are the person who is just getting to take the grass and I will, he is taking grass for Go Mata and, to, yes, and he will be speaking that no, I will do Nam Sankirtan only, I will not be taking any grass for Go Mata, I will not do that seva, Nam Sankirtan is more better. Uh, so actually he is just a calm chore, that is not intelligence, he just need to do seva. He is actually fully fraudster number one. He is actually making a different uh, vyakya, different meaning of that. So in their life, who have all the time uh, that uh, topmost uh, Sankirtan, Naam Sankirtan is there on his tongue. And definitely in this Kalikar, this kind of which are already written, that according to the Anugatya of Guru Vaishnava, if you are doing Sankirtan, by that, what will happen? Whatever Shiva is there under the guidance of Gurudev, what to do? Definitely, you need to do that. That's why Jeev Goswami Bhad has written here. What is written here? If there is some. Uh, thing which is required in Kalikul that if you are doing the, any other Bhakti Yang and Sadhan you don't just be remember very don't forget this point that you just need to take the shelter of Nam Sankirtan in order to do that particular Bhakti Lim there is no value of any Seva without Nam Sankirtan whether you are going to the market whether you are going to the school, whether you are taking your child to the school, whatever seva you are doing, like kitchen, amaniya, whatever you are doing, you are going for bath, whatever seva you are doing, whatever you are doing, you are changing the dress of Bhagwan, whatever is there. Without Tam Sankirtan, every seva is useless. Every seva will go in water. By that uh, association only, you just need to do that. Jeev Goswami Path has told this in in-depth discussion he has given us about this Siddhant which are in front of us. That which is one and the same thing only. This is not a new thing. You must be thinking that Jeev Goswami Path is speaking like this. How it can be possible that so sore distastefulness he is speaking with full detestful bhav he is speaking. He has spoken some new point. No. Jeev Goswami is actually speaking some new point in front of us. No, this is not at all new. This is all actually written there in the Shastra only. 
previously what Mahaprabhu has spoken in front of us. Mahaprabhu has already just manifested this thing in front of us. This point only Mahaprabhu is speaking in front of us. What Mahaprabhu has spoken, only one thing Mahaprabhu told that so you are thinking it is different. No, this is uh, only one and the same. That's why Mahaprabhu, the instruction of Mahaprabhu, it is written. So in this way, when we be having this vijat and Haridas Thakur, just to uh, speak Harinam Sankirtan with full loud voice, what will happen? All the four direction in this Stavar Jangam, all those jivas will just get topmost mangal. But I have told eight to ten days back that when you will be go to Nagar Sankirtan, then definitely you should be careful. That Bhakti Mahatma Thakur has told that maybe you have just haven't taken the rush of that Nam Sankirtan. Still you are material, and if you will go to go for Sankirtan outside, then what will happen? Then you are already material, and definitely all in all the four direction there is mixed society. That woman, man, everyone is there. So this kind of Sankirtan, what you are doing, there is no value because they are already material people who are doing Nam Sankirtan. They are not at all Vaishnav. So they are having that uh, mala and tilak on their head. So, so it already written this shloka is there. Mahamantra is a mantra himself. So whatever that material person, that market person, he will definitely hear that uh, the, that material sound. That mangal is a very far distant thing. He will get a mangal. So at least that in the leading part of that Sankirtan, there can be that a big Vaishnava should be there who is at least Pratishtit in Harinam. At least who is uh, uh, Pratishtit in Harinam. Maybe he has a very big uh, uh, chair. He is actually strictly prohibited to give him Vyasasana. But this is the actual rules of the society. Oh, they are giving this. Oh, he is the Sabhapati. He can't be a Sabhapati. He can, should be just removed from the Sabha. You can't even give him. You just need to cut and throw from this mat. But you are just making him Sabhapati. This is your actual will. You wish. So you are actually not hearing about Jeev Goswami Pad, what he is speaking. So okay, you just run your mat mandir. No worries. That is your actual problem. I have already told this point before also that Jeev Goswami Pad also told. Bhakta, there are the two kinds of Bhakta who is speaking Hari Katha. One person is there that he has total material lust and desire inside his heart and he is speaking Hari Katha. And other kind of person is there who is actually don't want to take even one single rupee from someone. All the time he has just for the satisfaction of Bhagwan, he is speaking Hari Katha. So there is infinity difference between both of them. Not definitely there is no difference between there is infinity difference between them there is not heaven hell difference if i speak like that that is wrong they have infinity difference that's why you will not understand in our society what we are like we are just like grasthi okay some grandfather is some is coming you are just giving him the seat so it's not like that he's coming and you have to give he's rich man still you are giving him the seat you he should be there on the asana of Swabhati. why so why we will give him the asana sabhapad? By that 16 year old Sukhdev Goswami Pad is just uh, getting on that sabhapadi asana because that's why he's not going to foreign country. How is becoming a uh, acharya? All those actually foolish like owls they are just uh, hearing this kind of vichar. So all actually going like this only. All foolish vichar is there. Nobody can understand. Oh, you go to your house. Don't need to you go have that gar karasti. This kind of vichar is applicable there only. So this actually very different and unique vichar is there. So Jeev Goswami Pad has told clearly. And with the full uh, it is already written openly that you don't need to give Vyasasan to those these foolish people. Those fraudsters, the topmost fraudsters they are, you don't need to give uh, Vyasasana to them. So what to do? We are actually giving him the Vyasasana, you just sit, they are topmost fraudster, foolish, 
But Chief Goswami Pad actually have just uh, prohibited, strictly prohibited. Uh, Vyasasan will get contaminated definitely, and those who will be hearing that, then definitely they will be get the topmost negative treasure in their life. But this kind of thing all is going in uh, that they are actually maintaining their society. We are not actually running Gauri Mat. We are just uh, just still maintaining our Gauri Mat. We are just maintaining our society, not Gauri Mat. Guru Dev always used to speak this part that uh, Guru Dev. Gauriya Mati is actually just standing on the vichar of Bhakti no Thakur and Prabhupada. Apart from this, it will become a kumat. Just like blood, stool and urine, everything will be there. And Jeev Goswami Pad is actually speaking about this point. That if you will be giving to that Sarag Bhakta, definitely you will get the topmost punishment. Why? Because he is a Vaishnav, already is not Buddhist in Harinam. Like the snake is actually just making his mouth in the milk. Definitely, when you will be taking that milk, you will be getting, you will be killed. That he is actually not Vaishnav. He is actually taking the base of a Vaishnav. Prabhupada also speaking this point. A proud server. Those who are fraudsters, they should be present in front of this material people. We are actually doing opposite. They, those who are already there, definitely they are just hiding them in the kambal. And they are speaking, oh Maharaj, you see, see they are doing harina. Definitely they need to die. From up till birth point, you will just hide them. After that, you, you will die, you will be just doing these things. So, normal common sense is not there. Kantavyan is not there. Minimum most common sense, the consciousness is lost. They don't have that. So, I am actually speaking this big time. They don't have Kantavyan. I have already written in one Pratibhat book uh, that those who don't have Kantavyan, <laughs> where they will get the again. It is already written. I have, in openly, I have just given to this society. Oh, what do you want to do? You do. Those who don't have even common sense also, what they will speak about the began? <laughs> All foolish things. Yiv Goswami Pada just strictly prohibited that you don't need to give Vyasasana to them. Definitely, a Mangal will come in the society. That is the actual work of us in the society. We just, so what other thing is there in the society? This is the only thing. Just to fight with other and to just uh, disrespect pure Guru Vaishnava. That's why they are actually just uh, getting killed each and every day. It is already written. And they are also speaking in the Pravachan also. But they are not at all actually having this realization about this. They will not be having this realization. All they will be speaking. That's it. In Pravachan. So those the Sadhu Guru Vaishnava have just uh, thrown them out. You don't know that for infinity parat you are just getting, infinity period you are just getting among them. You just hear this point that you have just cut and throw this uh, pure Guru Vaishnava. You don't know that you have definitely have put yourself into hell. I have already told, Bacha, you don't know son that what kind of uh, fruit you will result you will get for infinity period you are actually thinking it is a very choking mood i'll be just taking this i'll be uh, Prabhupada actually speaking this meshwari you can understand they are all actually like a hostel in a hostel they have some like some for job and someone and someone has come for study all that they have taken one udiya brahman and they are giving donation to him and uh, together they are taking prasadam, Prabhupada speaking, they are misbari. All together we will be staying together and just be taking, oh, bhajan, everything is going on, no worries. Okay, if it is going, then it's okay. But Jeev Goswami Pada has just strictly prohibited this. Each and every Nam Sankirtan, everyone can't do. It's a very different, uh, far distant thing. Even Sankirtan also they can't do. They can't do Sankirtan like this. So this actually, this Sankirtan, externally when you are going for Nagar Sankirtan, that Mahavashnam, topmost Vashnam should be there. Like Bhakti Vallabh Tirtha Goswami Maharaj always used to do Kirtan. Otherwise, definitely negative result will come. 
that param vaishnav be required from their lotus mouth all the time that aprakri shabd brahma is coming out and all the people are actually hearing and under their guidance they just need to work out like how to do so in this way we will just be giving rest up till this point why because lot of uh, i will be just speaking about lot of things then you can't understand so yeah, tomorrow also i will just be speaking about on the same point i am just uh, asking for forgiveness from you i will be just resting it today giving rest today and i will be just giving you the uh, infinity glorification of hari naam by the grip of guru vishnu bhagwan i'll be just uh, speaking tomorrow sankirtamano bhagavan ananta srutan bhavo vyasanam hi pungsam pravishya chityam vidhuno tyasisham yathatam yathatam arko abhro mevati vatah vanchakalpa durvasya ke pasind bhavcha patitanan pavane bho vishnu bhyo namo